I guess so today I want to take a look at it how to extend your corridor instead of to by uh, set distance but to the let's say 2d line so in case your road edge is not straight or uh, uh, parallel to your center line but it, it bows out or anything how would you do that using the simple instruction of uh, uh, offset and elevation or offset and slope so here is the final result and let's see how I got to that point so let's start from the scratch I'm gonna open a new project and I'm just gonna do uh, let's say uh, international food Oh, there we go and uh, Paris Brice uh, send us some uh, files to look at so he did send us a DXF with some line work and as I looked at it so this would be edge of payment edge of payment and then there is a I would say center line uh, when I look at it in 3D view, there is actually two center lines, one going up and one going down. Uh, we're gonna take a quick peek. He also sent us a PDF, so let's let's uh, put that in, uh, and we're gonna do the page one in the 300. Yeah, that's beautiful. So let's do that. And what we're gonna do is when we zoom in, in here, we have the point here as we have the point here. So we're just gonna hit and do a georeference image. Uh, I'm gonna keep that and snap here, snap to my point, and do the same thing on the other side there snap here i like to georeference it just so i have a kind of uh, extra extra checks so you can see yeah the line everything lines up except uh, the entry there the side entrance so that might have changed uh, i wouldn't know but what i wanted to double check is the center line and everything decently lines up uh, so first of all, when creating corridor, we have to create uh, alignment. So we're gonna create alignment, call it CL, and we're gonna put it on, let's say zero dash only alignment. Where am I? Align. And I'm for our purposes. I'm gonna make it red. Hit close. Uh, I'm gonna use existing lines so I don't have to and I'm gonna go to my 3d view and do that the reason I have chose the bottom line is I, when you look over here for your alignment um, vertical profile it's around uh, 60 elevation and when you check these two line strings right so this line string is at 75 and this line string at the bottom is at uh, at the end its elevation around 60.134 so that one was closer to our vertical profile so that's why i chose the the bottom one and i'll hit ok which have created my um uh, alignment and vertical alignment because it is however i need to double check this uh stationing which is not right so but here is 5960 so there is 10 meter in between i need to go and change my stationing to like regular formatting which is gonna do a 194 which doesn't make sense so let's go double check that when i do 
Let's try the other line string. Maybe I just chose the wrong line. Yeah, no. So that doesn't mean. I think this is in feet. I think it was written somewhere. Yeah, scale is in feet. So this should be 59. So we can definitely measure that. So from here to here, I have 100 feet, right? Which would be 58 to 59. So from here to here, I have 20 feet. So this should be actually the first station should be 59.2. That don't make sense. The station here. Uh, so maybe I changed the wrong format. I'm gonna change it to two digits. Yeah. So I'm gonna go 59 plus 220.00. So then here I have 60. So let me just. Uh, go here and I'm going to select my alignment horizontal alignment and see it's 60 here okay so we figured it out nicely so let's say 67 yeah um, I have a little bit of discrepancy that that could be changed as, as we go but anyway I have the vertical and horizontal so this is oh 2257 right so this should be 592250 okay well, whatever uh, i'm looking for this one anywho so that would be first step so i have recreated the alignment and now i'm gonna do corridor i'm gonna use uh, Corrid road and I'm just gonna hit OK here. I'm gonna go begin station. I'm just gonna snap to beginning station, hit insert. I'm gonna oh I should have done that before. Yeah. Uh, like that. Oops. Like that. That yes, so I have this here, and right now what I'm gonna do is insert new template and I'm gonna use offset, but instead of a set offset, I'm gonna use my 2D line and I'm gonna select my edge of payment. Uh, that's what the line was called, right? I believe. Uh, let's just take a quick peek at the properties payment, yeah, pay. Paved edge, pave edge one actually. Okay, so we're gonna use the same same idea for our instruction. So I'm gonna name it paved edge one. Um, and the slope here, I believe I seen it somewhere. Oh, here it is. So there is a. Uh, Okay, the problem is I have gone uh, out up 2%, but I want to go down 2%. And as you can see, my uh, edge of payment has been defined by my 2D line. So as it's uh, up at the beginning, we have a 12 foot uh, road. And let's say right here, we have a uh, 18 foot road, it followed my 2D line. So as you can see, that's beautiful. So the next step would be doing uh, another instruction. Uh, and I would say 
offset the same thing 2d line and right now I'm gonna select this 2d line right and do minus 2% so if they did that correctly I have that and I want to do another one and again I have to start just select this one minus 2% that gave me my road and now I have all that build up now the problem is you see I would like to use the elevation of this but there is something weird going on there this these elevations are way too high uh, let's just see so if I select this object let's say at the end I have elevation of uh, 57 and right here the elevation is so quickly I want to take this few seconds so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and check out all our other social media for the support and let's get back to it if we cut the cross section through here right and okay so started here page edge here I didn't call the other side so here I have a elevation of uh, Forty-four. So I had elevation here of fifty-seven, and at my two percent, it's forty-four. So that's a uh, six and seven, almost thirteen feet difference. So if I had, I would add this to my surface and create this, uh, um, create this. Uh, profile in there so 